Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So thanks for joining today. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna put this whole thing together. I'll show you one, but it's all the same once you start layering it, it's with the foam tape. The more important lesson that I wanted to show you guys um, from this is when you're cutting out of cardstock, which is different from vinyl, like from adhesive vinyl or from heat transfer vinyl, is that you lose the middle right so if this is a stencil font so you can kind of see like the e there's a little opening so that the middle of the e is attached to the outside so that we can still see it's the letter e same thing with the d right there's that opening right here so that the middle part of the d i don't know what these things are called i need to <laughs> someone tell me in the comments what that the, the correct term is for those, the inside parts of each of the letters. Um, and the A, for some reason, this font, it did it correctly for everything. Oh, but it didn't, oh my D, oh. I ripped it off when I pulled it off. Um, it's probably in my trash somewhere. Um, but the O did not do that. So what I showed you in design space, and let me put this on something so that it's easier to see. The O did not have the stencil, like it was not, the inside was not attached. So look what happens. The whole thing comes out and you're missing the middle piece. You could still glue down and keep track of the middle piece, but um, it doesn't work that well if you're doing a layered file where you're putting, you know, the, the foam tape in between so that you get the dimension like the cool layered look so that wouldn't really work in this situation so that's why in design space I ended up we ended up slicing that little piece right there so that there's an opening so that the middle part connects with the outer part and I also wanted to show you really in this thing because the I'll do one layer so you can see how I would tape it and use the foam um that foam squares. <laughs> I'm like losing my words today. Um, I had to recut. That's why there were two parts to design space because the original design space a project has love from cedar wood. It was too small. It would be okay if you made the project bigger, but I didn't. I made it five inches by five inches because I was trying to like just, I wanted to do this project to show you the difference between not having an opening and having an opening for the O. So I wanted to do the project, but I didn't want to do it at, you know, the size that it should have been, which is maybe eight by eight or 11 by 11. Um, I did it five by five so that I only had to, you know, so everything was shorter, less paper, all that stuff. But look at what happened. It just didn't cut well. And I will say, because this font also had like a little thin line that in part two, I ended up, contouring out the little line just made it so hard to cut um and this is not because I'm, I'm i mean it was user error because i didn't size it correctly based on what i saw with the font and the material being cardstock but i had a clean mat um a good blade i did all the steps correctly I think in this case, you know, um, it's just because I didn't think about the sizing and the font. Um, so I wanted to show you this got totally messed up. So I went back to design space and we did a couple of things. We made cedar wood on one line bigger, right? Instead of love from, there's a heart and a hyphen. So while this is cuter, we could have done, maybe we could have done love from up here and then cedar wood down here, that would still give it the whole sentiment that we wanted. Um, or I would have just made it bigger. I would have loved this. I, I like the way this looks, love from cedar wood, but I would, would have just done it bigger. All right, so let's show you. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is it. You, you know what, let me pull out, let me look at my map. Oh, this is what happened right here. See, that little piece should have connected to here, but it ripped off because I wasn't paying attention and I pulled it off too quickly from my mat. So this should have connected right there. I can glue that back on, I think. 
<laughs> All right, so that's what it's supposed to look like. All right, let me show you one of the the ones from behind. And this is, oh, you know what? I didn't even pop this out. I didn't want to pop it out because I wanted to show you the O again, how it looks. So, all right. Um, let's just do the top two layers. I'm going to do this layer with this layer. What I like to use is um, the foam squares from Design from Design Space, from the Dollar Tree. My goodness, my mouth today is not functioning with my brain. Um, so I like to use this. When you have a simple design like this where it's just a square, and I'm gonna move this up, sorry, I really zoomed in so that you can see it today. Um, I would like to do it in the corners just so that your whole piece is very balanced. Like it's gonna hold this up equally because it's all balanced. Maybe even like on the inside a little bit. Um, maybe one right there. I think that will help. Now. Uh, with this being from the Dollar Tree and with this foam squares being kind of small, I do get nervous that the tape, the adhesive is not strong enough to stay in place for a very long time. So I am a little bit paranoid in that sense. And so I do add extra glue. Um, I use Dollar, um, ah, I do not use Dollar Tree glue. I use Barely Art glue. I don't know why. <laughs> So I'm just going to add a little bit to the bottom so that that goes nowhere and then a little bit on the top. Now, because we have so many here, I'll do the bottoms on all of them so that to make sure that it's not going anywhere, but I'm only gonna do the glue on maybe three of the five squares, okay? And then this one. It may not seem like much right now, but when you have five of these where there's like a little bit of space in between, you're really gonna be able to see that there's a gap in there and it's gonna look layered. It's gonna come out pretty thick, like maybe like this. So it's a really, really pretty project. So let me show you what that looks like. Uh, oh no, it goes this way, duh. So you can kind of see just from the top already that there's a gap right there. So if you think all of them are gonna have a little bit, it's gonna look really, really pretty. And that's all that I would do. Um, it usually goes, these projects usually go in a frame. Um, I think in this instance, I don't know what I would do. I mean, I guess I would, I would put it in a frame because it just feels kind of flimsy unless you're just going to like stack it up and put it on someone's desk but I think it would be best like that. And then the top, um, you're gonna be able with the white on top of this one, you're gonna be able to see all the different colors coming through from the behind layers for the words. So it'll be really, really pretty and cute. <clears throat> all right, I wanted to show you that. So that's why if you're gonna use on paper, it's important that all of these have open spaces so that you don't lose the middle parts, unless you're willing to keep track of each one of these to put those pieces in, like this little piece here. Um, and the reason what I was saying earlier about it not being a big deal if you did vinyl or if you did uh, heat transfer vinyl is because it, it's on a carrier sheet. So the middle pieces, they'll stay there and you can go and transfer that and it will you know all be there and you don't have to do anything extra but on paper you would need to keep track of each one of these little itty bitty pieces and either glue it down or tape it down which works okay except for this project because we would have put foam tape in between this little piece will be sunken in a little bit unless you put foam tape on that piece as well which is okay for some pieces but some pieces might be too small so, all right, that's today's lesson. I just wanted to show you that. Let me know what else you wanna see. Um, and also like, you know, you saw me work through my mistakes. So that's just, that's just the way crafting is. Um, sometimes we have the best laid out plan and it still doesn't work. And that usually for me too is um, uh, the colors. Sometimes like even though I pull out the colors beforehand, they look good, but when you cut the project and you put it together, sometimes certain colors don't work. So anyway, that's why crafting takes forever. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Talk to you later.